This local sports report is brought to you by M&T Printing, offering banners, brochures, business cards, and more. Check out their website for a wide range of printed products at mtprint.com. He is a two-time Alliance champion and a future star with the North Bay Battalion, Owen Van Steensel, joining us today on the 519. Owen, the hat looks great on you. You signed your standard player agreement in North Bay about a week ago now. What does it mean to you and your family to sign that first OHL contract? It's great. Uh, ever since the beginning, Adam's been great to us, the whole organization. We're just looking forward to to be a part of the battalion family and get things rolling but overall it's just been a great experience you got drafted in the fourth round 63rd overall and a lot of people talk about your hockey iq and your speed and your skill and you can certainly see those things on the ice but from your perspective this is an opportunity for you to introduce yourself to battalion fans what would you like them to know about you uh, just the fact that team first player, uh, I'm willing to do anything for the team. Overall, I, th I think I'm a 200 foot player. I can play in all three zones and, and be used in any situation. I feel like um, power play, penalty kill, uh, beginning of the game, if we need momentum or even if it's late game, um, looking for a spark, then I think I could be a player to, to play that role and come do everything I can for the team. A really cool story that you told me a minute ago. You're from Ilderton. That's your hometown. And there's a famous figure skater, uh, Scott Moyer, who's an Olympic champion, a Canadian champion, you know, part of the group with, with Tessa Virtue of, you know, the best pairs figure skating the team that we've ever had in this country. You got a message from Scott the day that you got drafted, which I just think is really cool. Can you tell me about that, what he said and what that was like, you know, somebody who's obviously really famous and a Canadian icon in figure skating, you know, a hometown guy like you, uh, you guys know each other a little bit, but what did that mean to you, Owen? Yeah, on draft day, we had a lot of support from all a bunch of family and friends, but there was one message that kind of stuck out from the rest, and it, it's a, a Olympic gold medalist. It, it's not something you see every day. Um, our families know each other a little bit, so um, he reached out, and yeah, it was just great to see he, he know, kind of knows who I am and acknowledged uh, that I did get drafted. Ilderton Proud. That's exactly yeah, yeah. what it is. You and Scott Moyer, and I hope you go on to a great hockey career, uh, just like Scott had an incredible figure skating career for, for all of those years. Uh, you were the captain last year of the Elgin Middlesex Chiefs U16 team, and that's one of the other things I want to talk about here, Owen, is your leadership skills. I think those are very important. Uh, you were the captain in your U15 and U16 seasons with the Chiefs. What did you learn the most about being a captain? What did you learn about yourself and how you tried to help out your teammates? Um, I think the whole part of it um, is being a leader on and off the ice. You, you lead by example, but there's also a point where you have to understand, you have to let people do their own thing. So just kind of the balance of where you need to step in. If guys need help, or if a guy needs a lift or, or something like that, you, you can be that guy. I think I did a good job being there for my teammates. They, they could feel comfortable um, talking to me. If, if they were on a high or on a low, I could, I could go talk to them with, with uh, no issue. Let's talk about the on ice side. You averaged over two points per game last season. Obviously, incredible. What a team that was getting to the Alliance Championship Series and ultimately defeating the Hamilton Huskies. You probably can't condense it into a minute or two. But when you look back on last year, um, how was that experience? What was it like? And to be the champions in the end? The bond we had was great. I think the way we all came together as a team. Uh, skated a little bit in the summer together, got the chemistry going right off the beginning. And then going to the Toronto Titans tournament right at the beginning of the season, uh, staying in a hotel with the whole team, kind of even bring our team that much closer together. We just built from there. Every day we wanted to get better. Uh, something our coach Jason Williams said was every time you touch the ice, uh, you're going to get better. Um, and I think we did that throughout the season, just continue to build on our games 
um, get better as individuals, get better as a team. Um, but yeah, we had a really special group and uh, I'm going to miss it. I thought that second round series, and we covered a bunch of games uh, on 519 between you guys and, and the, uh, the Huron Perth Lakers. Uh, what an incredible series that was. It went seven games. It was back and forth. Both teams were winning in the other team's ranks. And then in the end, it's an overtime winner in game seven at home for you guys to clinch that series, you know, go to that Alliance championship and also the OHL cup, which unfortunately didn't happen. Uh, what do you remember uh, just about the battle that that series was? And what was that moment like when you realized we've got this after that overtime goal? Um, you know, every team, every great team has to overcome adversity mm -hmm. there. That was obviously a little bit of adversity for us. We went the whole regular season built losing a game. But more in specific, that that series, our team just came together when we needed it most. Um, we got down a game, I think, there. And we just all came together as a group, had each other's backs, and just kept climbing, kept climbing. They knock us down, we get back up and keep going. And then once we we saw Pancino put in that that overtime winner, he had two goals that game, actually. Great game for him. Shout out to him. But, no, it was great. We uh, we were we were thrilled uh, to be moving on, uh, clinched to go to the OHL Cup. But, uh, yeah, it was a great series. Uh, props to them, too. Was that the best moment so far in your hockey career, that overtime winner, just that emotion? And I, and I know the championship series, I'm sure, was exciting, too. But those two moments, I would imagine – they're going to stick with you and you're going to be telling your kids about those moments in, you know, 15, 20 years, whatever. Yeah, no, it was definitely one of the best minor hockey memories. There's so many to choose from, but sure. that's definitely going to be up there. The excitement, um, minor midget, people tend to overlook the finals, say you're already in the OHL cup. Um, does it mean as much as the other championships, but it did to us. We, we want to make sure we went out on top. You also had the opportunity last year to play in Kamoka. You got called up and you played a couple of games there. Hey, you scored a goal, right? You, you contributed right away, which must have been really neat. Uh, what can you say about the Kamoka Kings organization? I know it was a short stint for you, um, but what was it like and what was the adjustment like moving up to that level? Because I think that's going to help prepare you going forward as you continue to kind of climb up the ranks, right? Yeah, the Kings, they were great to me. The whole organization, staff, the players, Getting to play in two games with them was great. Kind of get the feel playing against older guys more consistently. Yeah. Um, just bigger, stronger um, players that I, I'm going to have to get used to playing against uh, coming in the future. The goal, do you remember it or what happened on the play? Yeah, so I kind of just came in on a two-on-two -two maybe and I was at almost the top of the circles and I just fired one over – over the goalie's pad, and the glove side. He was kind of sitting deep in his net. I don't think he was expecting it, but hey, it found the back of the net, and uh, that was my first junior B goal. A laser from Van Steen. So there was also another pretty nice goal that you scored. We got it on tape this past fall when the St. Mary's Lincolns uh, were having that exhibition series against the Stratford Warriors. Ethan Lamaru, uh, what a pass that was, but you made some sweet moves in front. You scored on the backhand. You had an opportunity uh, to play for the Lincolns and, and get to know the Lincolns, obviously, a, a little bit over the last couple of months. Uh, what do you like about their organization? And what did you learn? Again, I know it's a short stint. It's been a challenging few months for everybody, but you have to take things away from every experience that you have. What did you take away from St. Mary's? Being able to learn from some of the older guys on the team, being through it, um, they know what it's like, what it takes. They've they, some of the guys have, have played at OHL games. They, mm -hmm. they, they know what it takes. So just kind of learning from them how to carry yourself, what to do, how you need to be practicing, like the level you need to be practicing at, yeah. and just enjoying your time with teammates too. I learned that that's especially over the last year, um, just enjoying the moments with your teammates and uh, don't take anything for granted and play, play at the highest level you can. What about Greg Smale and the coaching staff in St. Mary's? They're great to me. Ever since the start of the year, 
or ever since the draft yeah. rather they um they reached out to me and showed interest right away they they told me about the ice time opportunity mm -hmm. before the OHL season that that hopefully is going to happen here soon but they were they're were great to me Greg uh put put together a great team and and Trent was a a great coach he, he practiced hard he, he was on us and that's great just making us all better what excites you the most about where you're at and where you're going if that makes sense you know you've you've had an incredible journey so far Owen and you've done some incredible things uh, you know winning championships and being part of good organizations and being part of good teams but when you look ahead to the future where you're at and where you want to get to what goes through your mind when you start to think about that stuff? Yeah, like you said, uh, I'm definitely proud of where I am, but, but the work's only beginning. Right. Um, this is a new stage in my career, and I can only look to build off it, um, create new friendships, and hopefully get, get maybe a championship uh, here in North Bay. But, yeah, you just got to keep working and keep working, but this is only to start. Why are you ready to make that jump into the OHL? And I, I assume that you've been really active in staying focused during COVID and quarantine and, and all the different things. And I, and I don't want to focus on COVID at all. What I want to sort of get at is why are you prepared? We don't know if the OHL season is going to start in the next couple of months or in the fall. Who knows? You know, those are questions that you and I can't answer. But how are you going to be the best version of yourself, Owen Van Steensel, when you get back on the ice right now just just keep a routine obviously if I get the chance to go up there in, in the near future there's going to be a strict routine I have to follow so kind of getting used to routine and knowing what your day looks like before you go through it so right now I, I make sure I get my school work done get my workout in and I make sure that I stay in contact with with friends and family that we might not be able to see those social connections are are good for good for us right now is as like I said we're not allowed to see them but yeah staying in routine getting in the gym eating well being at being at peak performance and just the best player I can be when I get there and skating too and I know you've had the opportunity to go up to Exeter and skate with Kathy McElwain obviously a, a well-known coach and she does a wonderful job with players of all ages really whether it be you know U16, U18, OHL guys I know she also works with some NHL guys uh, what can you say about Kathy and what she is like um, you know th those are intense skates like she's not messing around and you're better off for going there aren't you? Yeah, she she's great. She just wants the best for us. She's if you do something wrong, she'll let you know. But on the other side of it, she'll also help you out and help you fix it. And then you build from there. But like I said, she just wants the best out of you. And, and that's what you got to give her. Last one for you, Owen. A lot of people go into developing a hockey player. You're extremely skilled. You're extremely talented. And everyone watching this knows that you've got a very bright future. But I bet there's a lot of people along the way who had an impact on you that we didn't mention in the last couple of minutes. Who would you like to give your shout outs and your thank yous to for helping you reach the point that you're at going into the OHL? Yeah, most importantly, I, I want to take the chance to thank my parents and, and my siblings for being there since I was just a little kid growing up playing hockey, they were always there for me. Um, I also want to kind of shout out my, my friends and past teammates and coaches for, for always pushing me, always trying to get me to the next level and always just being so supportive about me. We wish you nothing but success going forward. A two-time Alliance champion with EMC, an incredible journey so far. Good luck in the future, Owen. Thanks for taking the time to chat with us, and we look forward to watching you in the OHL, hopefully in the coming months. Yeah, thank you for having me. For more highlights, visit our website, 519sportsonline.ca. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter.